Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So we're going to take a look and see how your week is going to be going forward. Um, we're going to take a look at love, take a look at career, and then just life messages in general for the week, okay? So if you're new to my channel, as always, click the like button and do subscribe. If you want to become a member of my channel, go ahead and click the join button and you can pop into the live streams and ask a question, get a tarot reading with me. And everything you need to know, there is a link in the description box below. Okay, so you're starting with, okay. Seven of Cups, you have the Knight of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords. All right, so love basically, I feel like this is straightforward here, okay? And this is probably going to be kind of a short reading, but... I feel like it's straightforward. Love is basically like if you're confused and you don't know what's going on, you need to ask direct question. You need to ask somebody the direct question. Um, you need to ask somebody directly and get the answer. And if 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 somebody does not reply with a direct reply, if they give you a, a vague answer, then the answer is that's not the answer right you need a yes or a no if it's vague it's that's a maybe and take a maybe as a no <laughs> that's the message I'm receiving here okay um, so obviously there is a situation here where either there's a ghosting or it's a situation where someone doesn't know or they have too many options or they're not committing or they're not sure um, I don't care what male or female masculine or feminine energy you need to get an answer here and not sit and wait because life is passing you by right so you need to ask the direct question to someone in a romantic type of situation here and you just basically need to ask someone do you you need to be direct like ask them there's only really two types of it's either a romantic relationship or just friendships pl platonic basically you know like you're either being romantic with each other which you're being affectionate and kissing and all everything that goes along with that or you're just being friends and holding hands and nothing else okay and you need to ask that question and if someone says that they want more than that just friends then that's the answer and go from there and if someone says they just want to be friends that's the answer and then go from there and then put an end to it and then move forward either with or without and that's it and don't him and ha about the whole situation okay um if somebody says well i don't know i'm just kind of well let's see no let's not see <laughs> not see no that's not an answer no maybes maybe it's not an answer maybe it's someone who's on the fence okay so if someone does not give you a direct answer then they're on the fence and the answer is they don't know and that means if they don't know then you're not gonna know and then you are left confused right so you need to approach it someone who is either ghosting or they're not being direct with you and find out and whatever their answer is, you need to put an end to it and move forward either with or without them. That's what I feel like. This really is guidance more so than a prediction. Um, because I feel like if someone is just kind of stringing, if you feel like you're being strung along, or you just don't know what's going on. It's not really for them to take you off the, off the hook. It's for you to let yourself off the hook. And you have every right to do that. 
okay and i feel like that's the message here if you feel like you're not getting a straightforward answer from someone you have every right to ask and you're allowed to ask and you're allowed to find out what's going on and sometimes people don't really know that another person wants to know um clear cut crystal clear communication is always necessary sometimes somebody won't ask another person because they're fearful of getting rejected or they don't want to know the answer if you don't want to ask and you want to live in limbo go for it if but then you're if you don't want to if you don't want to be rejected and you rather you then you can't complain if you're upset or up, frustrated with someone who's not giving you a direct answer because you're really not asking a direct question right so what you get into it is what you get out of it what you put into it is what you get out of it so if you want to know then you have to face it and if they say no um it's still a win because then you can like move on and then open yourself up to an opportunity to have a partner that's willing to go in the direction that you want to go in your love life there's always going to be somebody else that comes along okay so i feel like that's more of a guided message for you there's no sense in just you know beating a dead horse you you have to figure it out um i will say that you know there is two people here <laughs> going together so it looks like putting an end really to the confusion is what's happening here so it looks like it could turn out in a positive direction in a positive outcome so there's always a 50 50 chance to everything and i feel like no matter what however things turn out it's good for you to take your power back or take control back of the situation for yourself because you need that okay there's no sense in just kind of being a christmas ball hanging off the tree for three months and not knowing when you're going back in the box you know what i mean um take the reins reindeer take the reins i'm going out here with the christmas euphemism was already because it's coming it's coming all right so yeah, it's time to make that transition, but you got to face it. It looks like you got to face the I got to ask the tough questions this week or start thinking about it. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at your career. What's going on with Virgo's career this week? What does Virgo need to know for Virgo's career this week? Okay. You've got the chariot. Hmm. You've got the tower. Oh, there's your card. Queen of Pentacles. All right, it looks like it's time to make a move. And also there was the Eight of Swords. It's time to blow the roof off this place. You are stressing. You are stressing, you're under a lot of pressure when it comes to your career. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, wherever your placement is, you are stressing um, about your, your career, your industry, the job you have, going to work. Maybe you travel for work, it's killing you. Um, some of you know that your place of employment is you know, gonna collapse. It's, it's like, it's a lot of pressure. It looks like you've got two tens this i feel seriously this reading overall collectively for this week is about you making huge chess moves in your life this i feel like this is you kind of taking the reins in your life well we'll see how life goes but overall in your love life and in your career and just kind of like saying, I'm doing this my way now. I'm not waiting for everyone else to dictate to me how my life is going to go. In my love life, I'm making the decisions now. In my career, I'm taking the reins here. I feel like you're overwhelmed. You're, you might be under pressure this week. You feel like maybe you're going to collapse. You feel trapped. You're ready to explode out of there. Some of you just want to quit your job. Some of you might be on the verge some of you are looking around trying to find another job maybe you left your job and you're under pressure right now um, it's really time for you to this week especially start placing your ducks in a row to get serious this week like serious you got to start all it's all about asking the tough questions 
to not only other people to yourself where do you see yourself in five years where do you where do you want to go what do you want to do what risks are you are you willing to take here that's what that eight of swords energy is am i a victim by my own decisions my own thoughts my own words my choices or can i actually get myself i'm not a tree i can move am i here because of my choices can i get myself out of this am i can i be responsible can i be accountable can i make my can i get in my car and I, am i really stuck here is there a way out i feel like this week you're kind of looking at that and saying you know what maybe i can do better maybe there is another way out and some like tower moment happens and like kind of like knocks you in the head like boom like a lightning bolt like wow like an idea you know and i kind of feel like it's like a spark you know like a light bulb moment <laughs> yeah it just kind of feels to me like you you take up some kind of thing like i don't know you're just kind of like taking inventory of your love life your career so far this week and just saying i'm not waiting for anything or anyone i'm making my own i'm carving my own path I'm going to be a trailblazer. I'm making my own decisions. Because maybe, I don't know, Virgo, are you waiting for this one to make a decision about the relationship? Waiting for this one to tell you if you're going to get the promotion or if you're going to still have your job? Like, your, your life possibly is, not all of you, but some of you might be being controlled by other people but maybe not maybe you're just le allowing that to happen and it seems like you're just kind of like you know it doesn't have to be i'm not letting it be that way so like on both fronts it looks like you're you're just kind of like no 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 i don't know anybody anything just to myself and if you have little kids maybe your kids or big kids maybe you know but even still like they're adults right so no you don't owe anyone anything yeah yeah that's what i feel like this week's all about like in a collective sense it just it just kind of feels like you're simplifying like i was saying last week i remember i was asking the question what is the word it's minimizing you're just minimizing everything like let's get down to the bare bones of things do you want to be in a relationship with me or not because i need the answer because i'm packing my bags and i'm going <laughs> so if you're coming with me you're coming if you're not later i'm leaving i'm moving forward and the same with the job is this job secure or not because if it's not i'm finding another job or i'm starting my own career or i'm gonna go and be self-employed i'm gonna do my own thing you know what i mean it's kind of like that yeah wow pretty profound stuff and and it all comes from honestly these two major arcanas the chariot and the tower these are it's like an emotional decision that's causing chaos you know, it's like a with the chariot being the cancer, what's, what's all about how you feel about things that you're causing a big boom, you know, in your life here, you know, honoring yourself and your feelings, how you feel about things. And it may not even be logical, but it's all about kind of like, I want to live in this world and be happy. I want to be happy with myself, you know, and the chariot is about change. It's about lifestyle change. It's about weighing things out and setting a path and going in the direction of your joy, going after what you want. And the tower is pretty much about major shifts and changes in your life. So let's take a look here and see overall life, which I feel like we're just basically getting into. Look at that. The Hierophant, another major arcana. There you go. Judgment, another major arcana. There you go. The Fool, another major arcana. There you go. The Empress, another major arcana. And, <laughs> of course, the Queen of Wands, masculine or feminine. Bold, trailblazing. Yes, the Hierophant.
this is pretty much about doing you it's it's even coupled with judgment it feels like you're having this like spiritual awakening in a lot of ways you know i don't feel like you're rebelling you're not i don't feel like you're like smacking against the wall and going in the opposite direction because you're not getting what you want i feel like this is well thought out you're having like this awakening you know so you're not like having a temper tantrum and you're not being like well nobody's making me happy so i'm running away to never never land it's not that it's like you know what i can do better i can do better with myself i can make i can make myself better i can make myself happier i can do better and that's what that's what the higher font is like reaching that you know like, like the heart like the higher font in reverse would be all about like rebelliousness and anti this and anti that but i don't see you doing that you're not you're not going against you're going with the green you may have been going against yourself prior you were rebellious prior you weren't honoring your truth and now you're honoring yourself here by doing what's right for you or at least you you start doing that are seeing that this week and you set yourself free to be your best the fool and the empress you know and it takes courage and that's that courage that comes and i just see it this week you know the empress she nurtures self she embodies birth new beginnings and the queen of wands she comes with her charm and her vivacious personality she's positive she's bold she's a mover and a shaker she's fearless you know and she she takes the risk here just sets a course for destiny so it kind of feels to me like in your career in your career in your love life you're making like big chess moves here you know the empress is the queen the queen of queens so you're the queen on the chess board making big chess moves here you've been protecting the king long enough <laughs> and uh, yeah i am for some of you i'm spe speaking to the feminines here now it's time to protect yourself i guess or to do what's right for you at this time you know to honor yourself so i mean i like it i feel like this week is all about taking a look at you know kind of turning inward a little bit and, and saying, you know, it's time for me now um, to not be the one who is being a slave for everybody else until everybody else figures out what they want. You know, it's not necessary for you to ask someone in a sense, like two people get to make a decision, you know, um, you get to have a say. Sure, another person gets to have to say, too, in a partnership, whether that's in the job, whether that's in the relationship. And you should ask what somebody else wants, but it doesn't mean you have to want what they want. And if somebody else just wants casual type of relationship and that's not what you want, then you don't have to go along with that. But some people will tell you that they just, well, let's see how it goes. That's not an answer. That's just, I'm one foot in, one foot out. You know, and it depends. What are you looking for? If you don't want a casual relationship and somebody gives you a vague answer, that means that they do. If you want a casual relationship and they want something serious, then that's not going to fit with you. So it really depends on what you want. But you got to know, like you got to ask. Yeah. So I feel like even the same with the job, it's the same thing. Got to ask questions. You can't be afraid to ask questions. And a lot of times people don't ask questions because they're fearful of the answer. And if you're fearful of the answer, you're never going to know. You can't be afraid of the outcome. You just can't. You just can't. Sometimes no is a blessing. You could be missing your blessing. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And I'm keeping that right there because that's a very short, simple message. I'm going to leave that there for you guys to just kind of chew on. So you have for the rest of the week. 
I don't know if something's going to come up or not for you, but it's something to meditate on for this week. And just in case something comes up, you'll have it ready to go. All right, you guys. So enjoy. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Bye.